This episode is going to discuss accounts receivable and the use of a subsidiary ledger. Recall that accounts receivable represent amounts that are due to the company from customers for sales that were originally made on credit. The accounts receivable requires not only keeping track of total receivables in the general ledger, but we also must maintain a separate account receivable for each customer. And this is done in a what I call a side ledger, which is more formally known as a subsidiary ledger. You can think of the subsidiary ledger as kind of a three ring notebook that sits on the side next to the main general ledger filing cabinet. Accounting for bad debts that result from credit sales is also another issue related to accounts receivable, and we will discuss that later. To look at the use of a receivable subsidiary ledger, we're going to look at this example. On July 16th, ABC sells $950 of merchandise on credit to heart and $1,000 of merchandise on account to break. We're going to ignore the cost of goods sold side of this transaction and just focus on the receivable and the revenue. So to record these sales, we would debit accounts receivable and credit sales. Both of those are going to go into the general ledger, which is what we call the controlling account. And the total amount of receivables in the general ledger will be 1,950. In the subsidiary ledger, we are keeping track of who owes the company that 1950. 950 of it is a receivable from customer heart, and 1,000 is a receivable from customer break. At any given time, if we add up the balance in the subsidiary ledger accounts to get the total accounts receivable, it should equal the balance in the general ledger controlling account. When we receive a payment from a customer, we not only update the general ledger controlling account, but we also update the subsidiary ledger as well. So if ABC collects 500 from Hart and 800 from Break on their account, we are going to debit cash and credit accounts receivable. In the general ledger, we will be decreasing accounts receivable controlling account by $1,300. And at the same time, we also need to update the customer accounts in the subsidiary ledger. Hart paid us 500, bringing Hart's amount owed down to 450. Break paid 800, bringing the amount owed by Break down to 200. The total of the customer account balances in the subsidiary ledger are $650, which agrees with the balance in the accounts receivable controlling account in the general ledger. 